Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Let's start by taking a look at our galvanic cell. To decide which species will be reduced or oxidized in a galvanic cell, you want to ask yourself what will happen spontaneously. And the reason for this is that in the circuit we have a voltmeter or a resistor as opposed to having a battery. So we're not generating a current using an external source. We're basically generating a current using the two electrodes. For that reason, this reaction needs to be spontaneous. And in order to tell, which species will be reduced in a spontaneous situation, you need to take a look at the reduction potentials. We're told that the reduction potential for copper is 0.34, and the reduction potential for zinc is negative 0.76. The higher reduction potential is the one that is more likely to be reduced. Therefore, copper is going to be reduced in this case. And that's what we see down here in this reaction. It looks like copper 2 plus is gaining two electrons. Remember oil rig, RIG, reduction is gain of electrons. And also notice that at the zinc electrode, zinc is being oxidized, just as we would expect. Oil, O-I-L, oxidation is loss of electrons. So this all looks like the way we would expect it to be. Now, in an electrolytic cell, the opposite will happen because we're replacing with the voltmeter with a battery. So it'll power the reaction in the opposite direction. An electrolytic cell is using an external energy source to push a non-spontaneous reaction to occur. Therefore, we would expect copper to be oxidized in an electrolytic cell. Let's take a second look at the answer choices. As we discussed, copper is reduced in a galvanic cell and oxidized in an electrolytic cell. Therefore, answer choice C is the correct answer here. And if you really struggle with this topic of electrolytic and galvanic cells, I created an entire lesson that covers this topic in depth in my 10 Most Commonly Missed Concepts course. It's one of those topics that many, many students struggle with, and it comes up fairly often on the MCAT. So I'd highly recommend going through that lesson and making sure you understand all the key details. I even throw in a few special mnemonics for you to help you keep it all straight. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.